Hello, welcome to episode 37 of our Road Tech Career Playthrough, where we had started with permanent mechs. We've got a few mechs in the mech bay from our last mission, including both of our heavies and our Whitworth. We've got a new raid starting in one day. I did forget to check at the end of the last episode, but we'll take a look at the beginning of this one. Looks like the enemy forces are reduced to 7 from 12 after that last mission. I don't know if that's... 100% because of us, or if that's a result of our actions and the Word of Blake actions supposedly elsewhere. So we are going to double check our barracks, make sure didn't get any improved skills from our last mission. Does not look like it. And we will proceed to the next raid contract. All right. Seems like it's a capture base mission. All right. Uh, and we got a random event. All right. Even before you arrive at the morning briefing here, Dr. Mrod praising Frost, saying how valuable their support has been to the engineering team. Should have been Meg Bay. It only took a few minutes to figure out what was wrong with my winches. Use the help. I was saying. Commander, we have to do something special for us, most helpful member of the ship. Um, throw a party in the barracks. VIP quarters. This is an interesting one. Uh, we'll, don't want to make everybody else jealous, so we'll throw a party. Yeah, we're on increase by five. It may have given her some other sort of bonus to do VIP quarters, but uh, we'll just take uh, overall morale boost. All right. Uh, we, again, are decent on fun, so we'll bump this up. It's two skull, which is not bad, considering our typical uh, difficulty level. All right, so Gail, get out. Calamari and Goggles, get out. We're going to start bringing the Swordsman, the Dervish. Uh, we're going to bring in the Fire Bee and the Fire Starter on this one. Capture base, we'll try bringing along the friend rear. All right, which means we want Frost and the Dervish. We want Crow and the Firestarter. We want Beachball and the Swordsman. And we want Texas, I believe, in the friend rear. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So you've got Missile Boat. On uh, Dervish, Gra oh, Grave Digger needs to get out of there, and we need to bring Vampire in on the Fire Bee. Very good, okay. Swordsman, not quite the Scrapper, Firestarter, yeah, not even, alright. Half ton, we've got two lights, two mediums, some light vehicles to a two skull capture base. Let's hope that this is enough firepower. And we'll get started. Alright, load times aren't too bad. We will be in and out. Well, these capture base missions can take a little extra time. because we generally have to, well, it's capture base, not destroy base. So it actually might not, it's, it's closer to a battle where at some point during the battle you need to step into the special zone and there's potential for enemy turrets. So it's not too bad. Maybe we can get some good pieces for our mechs. Maybe we can get a whole new up-to-date mech to replace one of our primitive ones or even a vehicle to bolster our uh, vehicle side of our equation because right now we only really have the two vehicles with the striker and the ac2 carrier i do not count the uh, apc as one of our vehicles it's done some work for us in the past but as we get into these two and three school missions the only thing it's really would be good for is if the enemy has battle armor or 
just for like a little scout to run around and harass. Can't do a lot of damage anymore. Just the two machine guns, just not enough firepower really. All right, capture the warehouse complex. Only opposition. Do we have allies? Okay, we have Captain Ashley King. So we do have allies on this one. Visibility and fog and darkness. Okay, so it's another nighttime battle. Uh, we'll go ahead and pretty close to the initial starting zone. May not start with any enemies on the field if we need to scout this area first. What do our allies have? They've got a Seeks armored car, two SR4s and a medium laser. They've got a medium laser diverse optics and quad MG hover tank and the J Edgar. Medium laser scout car, just the three vehicles. Interesting, okay. I find it weird that our team, like you would think, right? Okay, so they have a thumper turret. Uh, we want to close and destroy that as soon as possible. That's an annoying piece of artillery that's going to damage all of our units. What's this? Infantry suppression turret? Okay, we can keep it ranged to kill that one. So there are turrets to destroy. But yeah, the artillery the thumper turret is going to likely cause damage to multiple units and cause our repair uh, times to need to go up, which is not something we want because it's a campaign style mission. Uh, how's the terrain here? Some sort of rock. All right, we'll just uh, standing by. We'll go kind of clumping up more than I'd like with that artillery piece, but we should be able to spread out next round to avoid it. Yeah, we don't want to get hit by it just because it'll splash armor damage across multiple units, which will cause us to need more repair time, and we want to give our techs time to repair our heavy mechs in case one of these missions gets difficult. Ooh, we have a searchlight. All right. Uh, all right, we don't want it on just yet because I think it makes it easier to hit us. What's up, boss? Oh, the Fenrir has... Fenrir has lights. Okay, we're gonna send the Dervish wide because it's got the long-range missiles anyway. We want the active ECM. That's interesting that the... I didn't know the Swordsman had an integrated searchlight on it. I don't think it's come up in a nighttime mission. No. Alright, then we've got the fire starter here. Okay. Going as fast as I can. With its bolt-on rockets being its heaviest hitting... Ooh, mount dismount selected you to interesting. I haven't noticed that before. So the battle armor can mount up. It also appears to have well, these guys all have like headlights or something on. But I guess it has an integrated searchlight. Alright, let's let's learn about this real quick. Illuminates the 240 meter area, making targets easier to see and hit. Also blinds them, reducing their accuracy by one. Ah. So it blinds them and makes them easier to hit. So we actually want it on. Close distance. I don't think we'll have a good shot. We'll go ahead and take it on this thunder turret. Yeah, went wide. But we do want to get it down as fast as possible. You need uh, some like advanced sensors and fire control systems and whatnot to uh, really deal with nighttime conditions effectively. And those sort of advanced optics bolt-ons 
Uh, uh, hold the tag brush back. That's got a. It's got a bit of a cooldown, and we don't want to waste it. All right. Gun emplacements. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, we don't want dead fires. Sprint into the trees, get at range for your SRMs. We have the SRM fire control on this, right? New cell sprinted, no visuals. That's unfortunate. Alright. Two hits. Yeah, okay. We are getting spread out though, and that's good. Uh, 59%, okay. We like that 170 and 150 health is still gotta do, still gotta do over 300 damage to this. And I don't think we can target the building it's sitting on, unfortunately. That was a solid amount of damage. Cause what we've got, 175 damage total out of the uh, dervish. Okay, yeah, just everybody target the swordsman, including the thumper. Or, in fact, you could target. Ow. Ouch. I didn't mean it. I meant target their guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, there's a big hit on the swordsman from the uh, Thumper Artillery there. Yeah, this Fenrir is just so slow. We probably should have brought the... the what's it called? The AC2 carrier. But, but there was that mount up option. We'll have to see... what that actually looks like. Alright, yeah, no tag barrage yet. So, Alright, structure is now exposed on the thumper. Uh, let's see what other turrets we're dealing with here. Large laser, the arrow four. Okay, that's the next one. That's like artillery missiles. Alright, thumper down. We can ignore this one for now. Uh, might as well fire the lasers at it. Wow. What a shot. Visual effect in the background from the missed lasers. If that infantry suppression turret's just machine guns and flamers, we shouldn't be within range of it anytime soon. We really want to take this back corner one out as soon as possible. And the large laser one could go uh, anytime, really. Uh, yeah, sprint up. Keep your evasion high. Your rockets, 1%. Yeah. Uh, sure, fire the laser. Free shot. Not going to generate enough heat to matter. You never know. You might get the hit with the... Uh, with that 7%. Right. Ooh, crossing over this marsh here is going to slow us down. Get 28, 29... Uh, we're gonna target the arrow four. A little bit of damage, that'll do for now. Alright, maybe... I don't know if that sensor scout... Okay, we're apparently within range of the suppression turret and the large laser turret hits our swordsman. He's going to be in the repair queue for a bit. Ow. Well, that's annoying. That's that arrow 4 turret. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and target him. Eh, decent hit chance. Not bad, not bad. Wait. We can mount up on the swordsman? Or the fire starter? Who can we mount? We can't mount anybody, I don't think. Not the striker? Dervish? Okay, I don't know why it gives us that option if... We don't actually have the option to mount up. We really shouldn't be pushing him closer to the suppression turret because it does bonus damage against battle armor most likely with its machine guns. Receiving you. Uh, we can go ahead and target the large laser turret with the striker just because it is doing significant damage. Yeah, dead fires. Uh, with okay accuracy. It's not splashing damage like the arrow fours, but uh, it is doing damage. Alright, swordsman. Come up, we'll probably target the infantry suppression turret because our hit chances here are probably going to be ridiculously low. Uh, sure, good. Fire your light rifle. Oh, good hit with both lasers. Really wide shot with the rifle, though. It's annoying that it spawned the long range turret. Well, one of the long range turrets. Uh, sure. That wasn't bad. Alright. Spreading out a bit more, which is good. Go ahead and open up with your SRMs. Alright, two turrets down. Two to go with uh, likely to be... we don't want to waste all our rockets because there's likely to be some enemy units that show up once we actually capture the base. Oh boy. Ouch. I'm losing armor bad. Thankfully they targeted our allies for once. Okay, here come the units. Where are the enemy reinforcements? That's the question. Sensors have not shown them to us yet. Ah, there they are. And I just drove my striker right towards them. Okay, so we got a Thunderbolt, a Sand Devil, a Wolverine, and another Sand Devil. What's the Sand Devil got? Poor energy hard points, but some of them are disabled on these guys. All right, three turrets down, one to go. One left target. Standing by. Uh, yes, yeah, standing by, not out. getting into range to do anything. <laughs> You're keeping up. Your weapons just don't have the the range. Hmm. We'll have to find some missions where the Fenrir can actually yes, move in and do stuff in a useful way. Right now, it doesn't really seem to. Ooh, that left arm is actually nearly in a problem. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open the rockets up onto this Arrow 4 turret because we do not want it to get another shot off if we can help it. Alright, Frost, can you finish this guy off for us? I'm counting on you with your missile boat. It's got less than 150 health. You can do 175 damage. Nice. Okay. Whew. Now please tell me that the Thunderbolt does not have any sort of... Ouch. It's got an ultra autocannon or two autocannons. Rotary rifle? 
45 armor damage is probably going to ultra AC5 like our Sentinel does. Would be my guess. We would like to capture that Thunderbolt. Hey. Alright. Uh, run the fire starter up. Want to get in range to use our rockets as soon as we can. And our tag barrage for that matter. Alright, Vampire 68 in the middle. Uh, we're going to stay behind cover for now. Get a little more short range. Do not want to get you closed in for... Or we don't want you with shots on you so you can close in and return fire. Sand devils might become hard to hit because they're fast. Alright, we got some a little crap on our initiative rolls that round. Let's see what they do. Oh, they must not have gotten too good either. Alright, uh, keep the sprint up. It's probably a bad idea running forward like this. What we got? 17% there, 5% there. Most of his weapons are down. And crap chances to hit here. What we got? No visuals plus target moved a lot plus max range. Okay, no shots. Alright, let's jump. We can't jump that far. Okay. Just walk out of the marsh into the water. See what our long range shots are 10%, 6%, 22%. Uh, oh, he's got two AC5s, and that's it. Okay. One of them's been crit. We'll take the long range 20%. It's interesting that in this uh, sort of mission thing, the enemy units are coming in pre-damaged. Just like they're throwing them out into the, into the field without having been able to repair them all the way. Which we might have to do at some point in the future if we take like a really difficult flare-up and we don't have uh, a full set of mechs to handle a mission and we don't want to lose or we take like a, the more difficult side of a mission. Alright, so we come up, blast this Wolverine. I hope it doesn't hit us in return with this auto cannon, but knowing that we can take the return fire with no difficulty. All right. Good solid hit. I'm here. This would be probably just the light rifle. Let's go ahead and run up. I'll be back. Probably should be protecting the swordsman a little better since both the arms are about to get shot off. Uh, no shot yet. Okay, both misses from the Thunderbolt's auto cannons. Wolverine steps up, does not shoot. Aye, aye. Yeah, the Fenrir is just going to be dead weight on this mission unless the Sand Devils come in close and it gets a chance to uh, shoot at them. Pull back. We don't want to get shot by anybody else. I'm going to hop on the Wolverine one more time. Good shots. Right, Dervish. Not great shots. We got 30% on that Sand Devil. 
we'll actually take that. It's got three lasers that we don't want to have to deal with. If we can blast it here. Alright, it's got a little thicker armor than I was anticipating. Let's actually look at the armor count. Uh, 83. Okay. Reading you. Beach ball is going to have... Should have a good shot. 50% across the board onto the Thunderbolt. Yeah, we are going to take that. Affirmative. I always get some sort of... He's a defender. So we have like 40% damage reduction. And we messed with all our big weapons. Three 50-50 rolls all going against us is bad luck. So that was just a bad luck on that attack. He didn't move. That might be him being dead this turn once the fire beat gets to go. Let's see. Okay, we don't want to stand there because a dropship is going to come in. And anything that's on one of those spots just gets destroyed. Oh yeah. Okay, 70% will fire the rockets, fire all the SRMs. Ah, oh, structured damage, but we didn't kill him. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. What we got here? Some rockets in the tank barrage. What if we sprint up? Same, but just worse hit chance. Okay. Too many uh, rocks and things in our way. Firestarter has not done much this mission. Dervish, Swordsman, and the Fire Bee have been carrying a lot of the weight. Oh, and the Striker, of course. He's a gunner, so he supposedly has better hit chance, maybe? Oh, do I have direct line of fire on anyone? Let's see what we got. Alright, guess not. Let's see what we can do. Alright, 15%, 30%, 39%, 30%, and 30%. Uh, we'll just see if we can f wait. There. See if we can finish him off so none of our other shots have to. Uh, yep. Alright, Dervish gets another kill. Closing in with the striker, still behind a rock, protected from the other guys. Not the greatest hit chance. We now have exposed structure. And we've got a shot onto the sand devil with the fire starter. He didn't move last turn, did he? Nope, he didn't. Okay. Alright. Now there's a barrage incoming. Let's run the Finrear forward as fast as he can go. And brace. Got some friendly armored car scout cars. A little bit of armor damage. Uh oh boy. Alright, swordsman might wanna. Back up. On my way. Firebee's gonna come tingle with the Thunderbolt. Really good hit chance. Okay. Good J Edgar. No, don't no, don't drive into the barrage zone. I know you have two turns, but still. Okay. Structure exposed. We got nine on the arm. Sure, we'll close in. Just open up. He's got low arm health too. Right, so 
they're both low on health and at least one arm. Oh, let's get some missiles. Okay. Give them everything you got. Commander. Frost still closing in. Luckily he's got long range missiles. Alright, what's in this arm? Nothing. Do we not know where his auto cannons are? They're both in the center torso. So it's SRM6. Uh, I think we. Okay, oh, we field command first. That's what we do. And then we take the shot onto the Thunderbolt. Best choice for uh... ready for orders. On my way. For a place to go, given the you know barrage zone. Roger. Oh, okay. I think we got uh some incendiary ammo or something. Go cook off in that guy. Something big blew up. Man, beach ball is just That's a myth. really having a rough time. Yeah, Fenrir is not going to be able to even fire its weapons once, I don't think. It's unfortunate. It's like, I'm helping. Nah, you're not. You're not helping. Oh, maybe you will, actually. He stepped forward, which means he survives one return. Which is not likely because we are going to just move up and give this guy all the rockets. Yeah, vigilance, rocket barrage. All out of SRM. I mean, are you though? Alright, Striker, you could take 70 more. He can't even deal out 70, really. Yeah. I swear, these Wolverines, like, they take way more damage than they should be able to take. I'm. I mentioned it quite a bit in my, um... Oh, there he goes. Okay. I mentioned it in the Vanilla campaign. But, uh... It always seems like the Wolverines just take a huge amount of punishment. Those two mechs like really cooked off fast whenever they went I'm not sure if they had like an XL engine with a side torso got destroyed they were down or what happened we get an extra 50,000 and we lose one reputation with Free Worlds League because that's who we're killing plus 10% contract payment alright let's see All right, Swordsman's going to be in the shop for a while nearly lost his left arm Firebeady took some armor damage. The fire starter and the dervish, though, are basically pristine. Fenrir did nothing, and Striker will be free repair, sort of. Alright, they want to take out a piece of the Thunderbolt, a piece of Wolverine, and two pieces of the Sand Devil, and throw in all this stuff. Um, if we refuse, we lose five reputation. We gain five rep. Uh, we'll accept, because we weren't really that interested in those parts anyway we want to come down here see if there was any wow primitive sensors and cockpits man it's hardly anything worth okay let's just grab a sand double gives us another vehicle this has what yeah 100 armor on each side it's not bad plus four lasers 
Yeah, we'll just take the Sand Devil. Yeah, we got another piece, so now we have another vehicle. Very fast. Uh, what is it? Uh, but it does have an ice engine, which is unfortunate. But it should be pretty quick. Oh, it's primitive armor and primitive structure. Uh, okay, so those are going to be reduced to like 70 or something in actual battle, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, we can go ahead and sell the primitive fire control systems and the primitive sensors. And we will continue on our way. Let's see what the repairs are going to be like for the swordsman and the fire bean. We still have the sentinel. Should be ready to go completely undamaged. And... What else do we have? We'll double check the mech bay. I'm starting to forget. Alright, three of our mechs are damaged. Five days for the repairs. What was the other one? Oh, I guess the fire starter was damaged. Alright, bring the Ostal to the top. Ostwar right behind it. Um, the fire be where, where the swordsman's going to be at the bottom. What do we currently have right? So we have the Dervish, Commandos, Sentinel, and the Wasp. But we should have our two heavies for the next mission. We now have so many just random parts. Uh, Arctic Fox, Badger, Badger, Copperhead, Firefly, Firefly, Falcon. Bunch of random cattle master parts. Probably gonna sell off a bunch of these soon. Things we're very certain we're not going to use, like the locust. Could ready up a Stinger 3G. Two machine guns for a second laser. This was two laser. Oh, I guess the sand devil is a medium. Thunder Wrecker Chariot Sand Devil. Yep. All right. Let's ready this guy up. Ice-powered scout hover tank that resembles local flat-headed sand serpents. Some president, two hundred gold sand devils, four hundred thunder creation of the Kaze. Okay. Armor primitive, primitive structure, protected mechanisms can supply repair. All right. So we now have this guy for non-space missions. So we can resupply the ammo in one of our mechs. And this only has two-thirds of the armor. So it only has 67 in those two and like 70 or 80 there. That's the problem. Unfortunately, we can't refit it and give it better um, armor. It does have standard sensors and fire control systems and stuff, though. Alright. Decent firepower. 80 damage, as appeared, opposed to 12 from the hover APC. And... 100 from the AC2 carrier, so it's pretty close. It's faster than this, or it should be. What's its movement register as? 2.5, that's not right. We'll have to find out what its actual movement is. That's something that is, can be kind of annoying. All right, and then barracks. Got some tired pilots. We'll wait, one, two. All right, one more day. We'll have our raid contract. The Austin will be ready. Whitworth is still being repaired, Swordsman's still being repaired. You know what, we're going to go ahead and leave the Swordsman out and let the Wolverine get its repairs on. Or, nah, we'll do it like this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, next raid contract is in one day. Let's go check on the enemy forces. They're down to one force. This should be the last contract for this flare-up if 
things hold steady and we went out the way we should. All right, with that in mind, if you thought I could have handled that mission better or uh, there was some clear reason to bring the AC2 carrier over the fin rear or something like that, or if you think I should order my repairs differently, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.